South by Southwest is the convergence of an amazing set of thought leaders, and they're setting the trends that are gonna impact our customers and our technology five years in advance. South by Southwest is a very interesting event for us because people here, they want to know about the technologies. They want to know about innovation. Why is KUKA here? You know, we want to get closer to our customers in order to understand what they really need and get out of your box. So we're here both to set the stage that KUKA is a thought leader in automation, but also to monitor what's going on with the groundswell of global technology and policy and art and how it all mixes together to impact us. The technology that we're seeing at South by Southwest is driving all of these behaviors in five years. These expectations of what your digital experience is are going to be fundamentally expected of our traditional industrial automation solutions from our robots to our software. Every year we try to do something a little bit different, a little bit fun, uh, and we're really trying to showcase some of the software technologies behind our strong mechanics. And this year we decided to build a robot that could do really, really seamless dance moves. This is a collaboration between KuCut and Andy Flesses, who is an amazing uh, robot animator. We're trying to make sure that a robot can mimic the human fluid motion, uh, and it's a really, really difficult thing to do traditionally for us and also for our customers. We're trying to understand how can we really lower the barrier to automation? And, and I think some of the things that people are using today, the design tools, the simulation tools, this is an important step for them. So we're trying to figure out how we can leverage some of the latest and greatest technologies to really lower that barrier to entries so people could come into the KUKA world and really understand how they can interact with our mechanical systems. You'll see things like a major emphasis on simulation so that you can, in your simulation environment, really do CAD to path and reduce this barrier of access to the robot doing what you want it to do. At the same time, we really feel like artificial intelligence will improve the learnability of our robots. So rather than having to manually program these complex arcs of motion, you'll really be emphasizing and focus on how do I train my robot to do what I want. And that's really this catalyst that we see with the combination of AI and simulation. We're extremely excited about artificial intelligence and its actual concrete pragmatic application to robotics. If I had to say what will be the most important trend in the next 10 or 20 years, I would probably think of it as the human-robot collaboration or the human-AI collaboration. We will be able to do the same set of activities and jobs in a much more efficient manner, right? And we are able to actually augment and do it potentially better, which will have, you know, better safety records. You can just imagine, right? Um, all the things that consumers are looking for, more individualization, faster delivery time, etc. KUKA definitely sees itself as a dominant industrial player in robotics. But one of the fantastic things that we've done in terms of innovation is we were the first to uncage the robots and let them coexist next to humans and really defined the market space of collaborative robotics. Now, the holy grail of the generally useful consumer robot has yet to be achieved. But we know that from our strong position in industry, we can cultivate key technologies that will ultimately be leveraged into delivering a truly general purpose consumer robot. Now it's the most exciting time because now we have artificial intelligence, we have more powerful software, and we have the collaborative robots which are sensitive. And this all allows you know, to have the right assistance to humans and to have a smart combination of humans and robots to bring the strengths of both together. Really, when we think about automation and robotics in the future, it doesn't require somebody with advanced PhD degrees or advanced technology degrees to be able to utilize this amazing technology sets. So it's important for us as KUKA, as a company, continue to improve our usability of the programming, of the configuration, so anybody could enjoy the benefits of automation and robotics. Orange Intelligence.